Kyler Murray led the Arizona Cardinals to a win in his first game back from that ACL injury. And he had a really good performance. Now, I thought that the Falcons were going to win this game because I thought he was going to look a little rusty, but he started off this game fairly hot. I believe he started off 6-9 and nine in the first quarter, and then he kind of started to slow down a little bit. But for the most part, this was a really good performance that we saw out of Kyler Murray. And the tall tale sign that you have a franchise quarterback is that in the fourth quarter, with the game on the lines, you can put the ball in his hands and say, hey, go win us the game, and he can pull through and get it done. That's what Kyler Murray was able to do. He was making accurate throws, not just outside of the pocket, which we know Kyler Murray notoriously for being able to do, but he was also making some really good throws from within the pocket. And not just that, but he had a couple of nice throws to tight end Trey McBride, who's looking like his go-to target, and he had another good throw outside the numbers to Marquise Brown that would have been a touchdown, but he dropped it. His athleticism is still there. Now, I don't know if he has the same amount of athleticism that he had prior to the injury. It looked like he was still kind of starting to work his way back a little bit, still getting into the rhythm of things, but he had a read option that he scored a touchdown on right before halftime. Yes, he did throw a mind-boggling interception through the middle of the fourth quarter but outside of that he made a lot of big plays to keep Arizona in this game he had an incredible run on third down and 10 spinning out of pressure to keep the game alive for Arizona with less than two minutes left in the game you see Arizona the only way you drive Kayla Williams is if you truly believe that Kayla Williams is a better quarterback than what Kyler Murray is right now and I don't believe he is Kyler Murray still, to me, looks like a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. And anytime you have a top 10 quarterback and you're going up against a Falcons team that has a Taylor Heineke or a Desmond Ritter at quarterback, you should be able to win these kinds of games. Arizona doesn't have a great team around Kyler Murray. The offensive line is okay. He was still kind of running for his life back there. You saw what they did the week before Kyler Murray came back when they traded Joshua Dobbs and started Clayton Toon. They were barely able to muster anything offensively at that. Kyler Murray, seeing him back underneath center for the Arizona Cardinals is a breath of fresh air. And I'm really intrigued in seeing how many more games the Arizona Cardinals are going to be able to win this year with Kyler Murray starting at quarterback. This was a team that wasn't as bad as what we initially thought before Kyler Murray came back. You know, they were able to upset the Dallas Cowboys and most of their games have been fairly competitive. With the fully healthy Kyler Murray now, shoot, they probably won't make it to the playoffs, but they're definitely going to be a handful and you definitely don't want to play this Arizona Cardinals team when Kyler Murray really starts to hit the ball running and he really gets the flow of this offense. You got to give Hats off to not just Kyler Murray, but Jonathan Ganning, his offensive coordinator. Like, there were people who were saying that Kyler Murray shouldn't have played a game this season. They should just already throw the right flag on the season and look to trade him for a first-round pick. But when you already got a franchise quarterback, why end up investing another first-round pick in one when you can just use that pick, trade down, and acquire more assets? Imagine if Arizona can get Marvin Harrison Jr. and you pair him up with Marquise Brown, Trey McBride, Kyler Murray, a fully healthy James Conner. You improve that offensive line and you can sign a couple of marquee for agents on defense. Arizona, they may not be able to become a Super Bowl contender, next season within the span of one off season, but you definitely like their chances of them being able to make it to the playoffs next year. There's no reason to trade away Kyler Murray and drive Kayla Williams when you already have somebody who essentially is a top 10 quarterback. Unless you know for certain that Kayla Williams is going to be better than what Kyler Murray is right now and that he has more potential than Kyler Murray, it makes no sense to draft him. Continue to build your team up, trade down, get more assets, and build around Kyler Murray. People seem to forget that Kyler Murray's first couple of years, he was a pro bowler and he was in the MVP discussion prior to Cliff Kingsbury getting fired. And then all of a sudden he has a bad playoff loss against the LA Rams. And then he ends up tearing his ACL and people start to write the dude off like he's a trash quarterback. When he's healthy, he's one of the best quarterbacks in the National Football League. And when you look at the Atlanta Falcons, this team, their season continues to go left. 
Taylor Heineke had to leave. Desmond Ritter came in. And although Desmond Ritter didn't cost you the game, the defense cost you the game. And Arthur Smith, this is a game that you were expected to win. The Arizona Cardinals, even with the healthy Kyler Murray, they still didn't have a better roster than you. Imagine Kyler Murray playing quarterback for the Atlanta Falcons right now, throwing to Kyle Pitts, Drake London, and having B. John Robinson in the backfield. They probably are a playoff team. If you're the Falcons, you look at this game today and you say to yourself, you're Arthur Smith, like, damn, this is why we need to go ahead and find us a Kyler Murray at quarterback or try to find us the long-term answer at the quarterback position. Kyler Murray, to be able to put this team in position to win in his first game back was incredibly impressive where it was easy to assume that he was going to have a little bit of rust to knock off. But this dude kind of hit the ground running and although... You know, 19-32, 249 passing yards, an interception, 33 rushing yards, and a touchdown isn't an impressive stat sheet. It's impressive when you look at the fact that Kyler Murray did this missing a lot of time, not playing football in, what, a year, and still being able to come, come in his first game of this season and lead the Arizona Cardinals to a come-from-behind victory with the ball in his hands to end the game. That definitely has to earn you a lot of points with this organization as far as you remaining the franchise quarterback of this team. And I like the fact that Jonathan Gannon and this general manager, Monte Austin Ford, are allowing Kyler Murray to go out there and prove himself once again as the franchise quarterback of this organization.